point or another, all fighters use rotational power when punching. Unfortunately for most of them, they forget to bring their hips along for the ride. And since it's the opening and closing of our hips that allow us to keep our power vectors united and uh, momentum sustainable, we should do everything in our power to develop smooth, synchronized neuromuscular pathways where rotational power is concerned. Hi, I'm Johnny G, the American Bare Knuckler, and today I'm going to show you guys an exercise specifically designed to allow you to create clean, crisp, synchronized, functional movement between your legs, your hips, your core, and shoulders where rotational power is concerned. So what do you say, huh? Let's get to it. Okay, to do this exercise, we don't need much equipment at all. You can use uh, a soccer ball or a basketball or a dodgeball uh, with a little air out of it to stick between your legs. You can use light uh, medicine balls. Like today, we're going to use the four pounder. Uh, four between our legs to squeeze together at the same time we're rotating. And for the upper body, you don't need much either. We're going to use a kettlebell, but you can just as easily do it with an 8 or 10 pound medicine ball. Okay, so for a few dollars, uh, you'll be able to uh, facilitate your ability to do this exercise anywhere, anytime, any place. Now, the process is to do this. First off, we want to work our lower body. So to do this, I'm going to take this four pound power ball. I'm going to stick it between my thighs up here, <laughs> if I can get it there, and squeeze real tightly, kind of pinching my knees together like a clothespin. All right. Now the objective of the lower body is to crank your lead leg in, open it, and crank your back leg. See, rotate. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, we're squeezing at the thighs. We have an inversion off the ball of our foot. Turning our hips like so. Then we want to add the upper body, and all the upper body is, those of you that watched, uh, the video, the last video I did on the kettlebell 5x5 is a hunt behind the neck or behind the head, 180 degree uh, rotational movement. And what I, we want to do here, I'm using a 20 pounder today because it's light. What we want to do here is synchronize the two movements. So coming from midline behind my head, as I crank my hip, I want to turn the kettlebell through, letting my left shoulder go forward at the same time. And as I crank my right hip, I want to turn my, shoulder, my right shoulder through to the other side. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. As you see, this movement is synchronized. Now, what's that transfer to when I'm punching the bag? Simply put, just this. That movement alone is going to allow you to sustain both power and momentum versus how most people do it as they punch across the center line. When we do that and not rotate our hips, all that torque we create from that rotational power is stopping at our hips. This means we're not using uh, the biggest muscle we have 
set of muscles we have in our body and that is the leg specifically on that punch going across center line the inside of our thighs be it a straight punch or a hook doesn't matter that's where the majority of our rotational torque is coming from so this exercise uh, will help you develop and synchronize those pathways and as I said if you want to use a medicine ball if maybe even a 20 pound kettlebell is too heavy for you and you don't have one of the smaller ones take your dodgeball uh, deflated soccer ball basketball whatever medicine ball pick up your other medicine ball and assume the same position rotate one come through see so all that really counts is that we synchronize the movements between our legs, our hips, our core, and our shoulders. I promise you guys at home, you do this exercise, you're going to find that your ability to punch and roll, open and close those hips in unison with your punch increases tenfold. Until next time, this is Johnny G, the American Bear Knuckler, signing off. Y'all take care and have a great day.